and welcome back here to our first playoffs game here in the WPF Delta and um, today we are playing against Jack or Gravy and um, not gonna lie, his team is super mega scary and um, yeah like he has the potential to just basically sweep with one of his um, many many Pokemon or entire team and um, yeah. Let's just jump right into our little uh, team builder section thingy. First of all, we have Gouging Fire, relatively physically defensive, so we can actually take on um, Gianpo. If Sun is up, we can actually just tank choice bad hits like nobody's business, even without Sun. Um, like, um, I think I think a Crash has is a max of 51% it can do to us and with breaking swipe plus DD we can basically win every one we want on uh, versus his team and yeah and I also think um, uh, this is basically our best win con this week and um, yeah next up Meowth Runner with Choice Garf we actually want to bring Toxic Spikes for this cause um, if he doesn't bring um, heavy duty boots on his Tarabagos then we can just basically toxic it and that thing he is broken and yeah that would be really really nice to be honest also his team is super super mega fat so um toxic spikes would go a very very long way especially if he um actually uh if he brings the lesson and terror it that would be very very nice because if he isn't um if he isn't um boots then yeah the thing just gets toxic and yeah that would be really really nice Next up, um, Morgan Wack. We are faster than uh, Mew, again, just like uh, Mew's Gorada. And um, yeah, Hydro Steam plus Flamethrower is basically enough to hit his entire team for a lot of damage. Even the, um, the Primarina shouldn't really do too much, because um, with Knock Up plus Flip Turn and subsequent um, Hydro Steams, we can basically chip it down very, very fast. And yeah, next up. Jirachi, really specially defensive um, for stuff like the Primarina, because this, this thing is still a pretty, pretty big threat. And with Iron Head Ice Punch, we can basically um, get some amounts of damage, even to the Landorus. That's why we have the Sugar Barrel too. And um, yeah, next up, Tonkel, so we can actually have our Sun up. And um, yeah, pr pretty standard Tonkel set this week again, like. I don't think we can. We have to change that much of uh, that thing. Yeah. Next up, or lastly, is our uh, Rhydon. Did I put it? Is this? Nah, this. Okay. Just does look so dark for some reason. Like, um, yeah. <laughs> Got a little bit caught off guard by that. But uh, nonetheless, um, we are specially defensive, so we can actually take a hit from the Terrabagas and basically just roll it back out. So it hopefully doesn't have its um, um, Terra Shell anymore, so we can actually hit it for some damage. Um, Rock Blast is mainly for the Celezzle. Fun fact about Terrabagas, um, Rock Blast in its, entire, in its entirety gets resisted, so... Um, yeah, basically Earthquaking is still the best play, firstly, to actually break it. And, um, yeah, I shall see you when the battle starts, because I think that will be a very, very fun game. Okay, and let's go. <laughs> I'm hyped. <laughs> um, wow, there is no Chienba whatsoever. Goddamn, I would have never thought that you would bring that. Okay, that's really interesting, though. Um... Iron Hands, Mew, Prim, Celazel, and Duraladon. So he actually brought all of his Terra Captains this week. Um, huh. That's good though. Like, um, Walking Wake actually outspeeds everything on his team. And if we can get up rocks, I think we should be actually good to go. Egg rocks stay up the entire game. Um, honestly, I think I think I like the taco lead then. Or do like he could actually actually he could very easily lead with um the landerus right? Uh, yeah, I think 
I think Meowth Grudder lead is fine then, I guess. Like, we can just do that. Yeah. Because he might just lead with um, the Landorus to actually catch our Toko. Because we, yeah, we more uh, often lead with that than probably anything else. Do we see the, the Landorus? That is the Landorus. Okay. I mean, we can triple Axel it immediately. I mean, yeah, Intimidate comes through. I mean, honestly, we just click what we face. So let's just go for a triple Axel. Okay, switch us out into who? Probably the Iron Hands, right? Don't forget to activate the lovely ruler. So let's see. Um, okay, he's rocky handed. I don't like that. <laughs> Should have knocked, probably. But, oh, well, that's good to know, actually, that he's rocky handed. So he doesn't have the um, passive feeling through um, leftovers. And um, honestly, I think we can just go into our talk hole, probably. Um, get up our son. I mean, he might Volt Switch, but uh, probably not. Like, we, we have a Rider. And Rider Volt is probably. <laughs> so, let's see. What do you click? Close combat. That did a decent chunk, actually. <laughs> um, hmm. I wanna. Get up rocks really, really badly, but I. Th but then we died to um, rocks, which would be kind of bad, I guess. So I th honestly, hold up. <laughs> like realistically speaking, what does he actually have for gouging fire? Not that much, right? I think I think we can just go, go for it, like. We are fat as fuck. And he stayed in. That is completely fine. He's at minus one um, defense too. Volt switches, okay. I'm gonna be real. I think we could just stay in versus um, the Landorus. Like, we don't actually take that much. Landorus. Um, bo -bo -bo -bo. There are too many Landorus that's in here. God damn it. Um, yeah, this actually doesn't do 50%, right? Uh, yeah, it's a roll. It's a roll. Um, we could go for a breaking swipe, right? Like, we, we don't have a good switch in. I think we can go for a breaking swipe once. And maybe see what he wants. We are faster. <laughs> Why are we faster? <laughs> okay, just earthquakes. Yeah, this shouldn't do. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that was actually nothing. Like, we could go for a DD. <laughs> and then probably Morning Sun up. Like, how much does he take on his Prim? Oh, Prim. Maybe bulky. Plus one. Uh, this card is always messy. Oh, shit. Whoop. Probably should take a lot. You should take a lot of it. So I think just digging up once is fine. Yeah. Let's go. We can dance up. We are basically faster than anything right now. He's Stealth Rocks. Oh, damn. Okay. Okay. I mean, we can flare this right now. We can easily flare this right now. Um, Landorus. We are not at neutral, right? Um, yeah, we are at neutral. So, Landorus should actually still take a decent chunk. 
Whoop. It's done. Yeah. We actually do it going with Flamlets. But I think maybe digging up once again is actually the play, cause um or breaking swap. Probably breaking swap so we can actually take more hits. Okay, switch us out. Hands out else. That is that thing. Okay, honestly. Does this make contact? It does, okay. But you know what? That's completely fine. We can money sign up. Don't um, take that much. So we can basically um, get off a big hit next turn. Vote switches. Okay, probably goes into Prim now or the Landerers again. And um, honestly, I think for the Landerers, we could flam let him. And probably do some massive, massive, massive damage there. Yeah, that's that. Um, I think we could also try and go for a breaking swap again. Um, do we want to though? I mean, we are much, much um, healthier afterwards. Yeah, we, we we can get out with much, much more health. So we could just go for a breaking swap again. Let's go. Does a little bit of chip. Shouldn't really do that much. Yeah. Doesn't do much. Let's go. And, um. How much does Flap do now? Let's just make it neutral and sun. Oh, we need a little bit more. We need a little bit more of the uh, chip damage. Like, we could go for another breaking swap. Honestly, why not? We breaking swap once more. Depending on his spread. Well, <laughs> we take this. Very good. <laughs> this is it. Let's go. And yeah, Protosynthesis boost wears off now. But um, he's at minus. Yeah, he's at minus two. Like, even with uh, without without the boost, we take negligible damage there. So we can monitor up once. He probably switches out into um, his iron uh, hands again, which is okay. Or is that a perp? No, that's to do relevant. Okay. I mean, yeah, we have a we have a really free switch in, in uh, with our Jirachi. Like it shouldn't really do anything to us. We are especially defensive. Should take any hit. He probably want. He might want to go for um the. The thing, the um, Dark Pulse or Draco. He probably should drop a Draco because otherwise. It's looking a little bit rough. And yeah, maybe he decides to Terra, which would actually help a lot. Um, let's see. Okay, let's go. He decides to Terra. So let's see. What? Which Terra type is he? He's ground, okay. So there's probably, probably a Terra box coming up, right? It is, but we have the Sugar Barret. So let's see if he is offensive or not. I did. That still did a fair bit. Um, let's see. The Raladon, cause that just looks like max special attack to me. Um, Terra Blast with the Terra Ground. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Yeah, that's that's the um, the basic role of um, a very especially offensive Duraldo. Um, we could go for a wish now. Yeah, I think going for a wish is fine. Like. Still, if he uh, likes to attack, that's still fine. And we are faster. That's also good to know. Yeah, still does a tiny bit. Yeah, a tiny bit more. And, um, hmm. I mean, huh. 
I th we could go for a flinch. That could be a thing. Um, to get a little bit more chip on him, right? Yeah, I think that's our plan. I think that's our plan. Let's go. Maybe we'll, he wants to switch out on our protect. That also wouldn't hurt, to be honest. Like getting a little bit more chip off onto the Linerus would also be really, really great. Now it would be nice if we could get in our um, into our walking wake to actually do some damage to his entire team because like um, yeah his best switch in is probably the prim and um, getting chip off onto that would also be really really nice. Okay, so let's see, fifty shots of oil, nice. We can actually get the landers into the range of a plus, um, yeah, of a neutral flare blitz there. Let's go. And the good thing is, um, we are faster. So we could actually just Ice Punch him. Honestly, if we can kill it right here, that would be nice. So let's just go for it. Let's go. Okay. That should be gone. Let's go. Awesome, awesome. Getting rid of the Landorus is huge. That is really, really huge. So no more um, intimidate shuffling, which is great, because even the prim doesn't really appreciate a flare blitz to the face in sun. Handing out ads. That's the um, yeah. That's that thing again. Um. Yeah. Now what do we do now? <laughs> like. I mean, go and talk about what uh, would kind of be a waste, to be honest. Like, I want to bring it in. Um, yeah, I want to bring it in on um, something else, maybe. So, I mean, you could try and go for a protect first, right? Hold on. Does he even kill us? Like, Iron Hands. Does he even kill us? With a close combat. Um, he actually doesn't. Like, we could go for a wish and basically take a hit from him. Honestly, I like the play. I like the play. Even if he kills us right here with a crit or an EQ, that would be actually fine because something else can come in and, um, yeah, <laughs> just do something like, um, do we protect? I think so, yeah. We should protect. We should protect. Um, okay, so that's actually good to know. That probably means he's not, um, attack invested, right? Or not fully, at least. Close combats on our protect. Um, ba -bom, without the sugar berry. Yeah, that's not attack invested. Or, it, uh, um, no, I, I think it was actually a very low roll on his end like we could we could wish up again but afterwards we wouldn't actually have a good good switch in into um into the prim so i think thing is um sub -Celeste could be a very big problem later on god damn it i don't know which which one i would like to go into um, honestly, we might actually live with Torkoal a hit, and then probably die, maybe going gouging fire and then setting up. That might actually be the play, but I don't know, I don't know. Maybe, maybe we should, ah, nah, let's just go, let's just go Torkoal, let's go Torkoal. Um, if we sack it right here, then that's actually fine, I think. So let's see. Does he close combat again? He earthquakes. Okay. That's fine. Um, so now we basically have a free walking wake. Like he doesn't have any good switching. Like walking wake should just nuke this thing into the next dimension. 
Um, he's not a salt west. Yeah, this should absolutely blow him up. So, we could actually go for a knockoff and then flip turn on the prim, probably. So we can actually do some damage, or some better damage later. He probably shouldn't stay in. Right, oh, the Prim. Prim Arena of the AV. Yeah, I just he does nothing. So let's just knock off. He shouldn't say it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely. Okay. So, that is the Prim. Let's go. Do we see an AV? We do see an Assault Blast. Let's go. Um, I think we could flip turn out into our Jurati. Like, he doesn't really have a good th move to actually hit us. A little bit chip off onto it. And then next time we can just Hydro Steam in. Probably even for a 2 hit KO. Um, yeah. Jurati it is. Let's go. Do we see a flip turn? We do. Okay, so probably Iron Hands might want to come in again. Good thing, depending on his prim investment, um, God of Hell could easily set up on it. Also, depending if he has Psychic Noise or not. Ah, it's the Mew. I hate Mew. Um, like, we could actually go right on, because we should take a hit very, very easily, and we could just roll him out. Honestly, I, th I think that's our play. Like, yeah, this should be our play. Probably goes for a fire move. He did these. Okay. So this we should relatively easily check him. Um, you with the DD. Like, we should take any hint. We could Earthquake it, to be honest. Um, do actually some pretty good damage. And maybe roll him afterwards. But not without terroring though. Right? Um, yeah, I think that's our time to terror right now. Let's go. Give him a little bit chip. Oh. Who do you switch into? Like, it's the... Um, honestly, that's really, really good. That's really, really good for us. Let's go. That's free chip. That is chip that we need for gouging. And yeah, gouging is probably our weak on uh, at this at this stage of the game. Go. That's actually some. That's actually some nice chip. Um, we could theoretically stay in and um, give him a little bit more chip. Honestly, we we really really need chip on it. I think just earthquaking it again is fine. Yeah, because we we take every. Hit. Very, very easy. And yeah, this basically just confirms that he's um, evil alert, right? Because regular should never take that little evil light. Because Rhydon is a strong motherfucker. Terror Blast, that's fine. That shouldn't really do too much. Yeah. <laughs> Not that much, let's go. For basically some nice chip trade off. Um. We could go Chirachi and basically sack it to then get into our walking wake, which basically nukes somebody. Honestly, that's, is that our play? Probably, right? Yeah, I think that's our play. That should be our play there. Yeah. That should be our play. One hundred percent. So let's see. Does he go for another one? Dracos. Honestly, that's actually really fine. Like, we can wish up right now. Um, how long do suns the last one other turn? So, 
Yeah. We can just push up. So I was debating if we want to go into our uh, wake, but that's not really necessary right now. Because Sun still ends this turn. You can basically just push up for free. If he wants to go into a Celazel, that would be really, really great, because then we got Rock Blasted if he wants to, zoo, to do some sub shenanigans. So let's see. Handing out else, that's the, um, the Iron Hands. That's completely fine. Um, like we could go for a Protect and then go out into maybe Rhydon even. Like, we could go right on afterwards. Um, we could also go right on right now. Like, he doesn't really have any good switching into this. At all. Honestly, I like that play. I think that that should be our play right now. And um, Earthquake basically gives us chip on everything. <laughs> and getting chip on everything would be really, really nice. Yeah, Earthquake that shouldn't do that much. That did nothing. And getting up some nice health there. Honestly, let's go just for another Earthquake. Maybe if it wants to stay in, that would also be really, really nice for our gouging. Okay, goes out probably into the Duralodon again. Exactly. Awesome, awesome. So this is basically in range of everything right now. Um, okay, so um, could the Jirajibi still be used for a wish into dying later? Maybe. Do we want to go into the walking wake? Um... Do we need it? Like he actually he actually has some great answers left. So I think walking going walking wake is fine. We don't have the boosted stuff. And maybe if we don't die, we could just go for a flip turn maybe. Okay, he just drags. That's completely fine. That is completely fine. Doralo don't claims one. But now nobody. Um, like, he doesn't switch into this anymore. Into anything, <laughs> that is. And um, that basically sounds like a free knockoff to me. Also, getting rid of the rock helmet of the, um, of the Iron Hands would also be really, really great. Honestly, I think as it's probably just like um, sacking the um, Meow Skrata. Hold on. Does the Iron Hands actually... Iron Hands might just get to it killed by Flower Trick. Um, meow. Ah, uh, probably not. Probably not. Wait, hold on. It does. I think it does. But going for a knockoff is the best thing we can do there, nonetheless. Actually, hold on. No, going for a uh, Flower Trick is actually super fine. Because um, if the Celestial wants to come in, that gives us a free rider. And giving us a free rider basically equates to a free kill in this game. So going for a flower trick is fine. Okay, switch it out. Handing out else, that's the um that's the iron hands. Exactly, flower trick shouldn't make contact. Yeah, that's definitely a tooth kill. Let's go. Let's go for another one. Like I said, he might want to contemplate going out into the um, the Celeza, which just gives us a free um, ride on. That is the Celeza. Also, wouldn't hurt to actually know if he's Black Sludge or not. Damn. That was still a lot of damage. Okay, he's not Black Sludge. Um, I think we just... We go that either way. I don't think he will go for a Sludge Wave or something like that. Anyway, he should never be able to do it with us. 
Under any circumstances. Only if he's something like, um, I don't know, <laughs> power up solar beam? I don't know if it actually gets them. <laughs> but, yeah. We shall need everything. So, let's see, what do you want to go for? Getting a little bit of chip, slut waves. That crit really, really sucked. But was that choice bags? Like, that was a lot of damage. Was that choice bags? Um, slut wave. Was that freaking choice bags? <laughs> um, 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 that was crit. Um, that basically did. Yes. God damn it. <laughs> now I don't know if he's actually transpects or not. Um, probably not. No. Um, okay, so I think. I mean, I think we just earthquake, right? Okay, he goes out. He predicts that we go into our Jirachi, which actually makes me think that he is some sort of choice item, which is good, which is fun. So that gives us the information that he's probably choice picks. Okay. So, I think that gives him um, another Neuralodon pill, right? Or the Mew. Like, we could go for a Earthquake, right? If he wants to DD up, and then, maybe DD up again. We could actually roar afterwards. And honestly, just getting some chip onto this um, is probably our main goal. Yeah, let's just earthquake this. He DDs up, okay. Probably sees that um, don't actually do that much. Maybe he wants to DD up again. Yeah, don't do that much. And now we roar. Good thing we, we put on roar on this thing. Okay, so Triple Axel might actually just pick off a kid. Um, Mew. Um, that... Is that max HP? Might be max HP Mew. Is that actually a bit... Very, very little. little. Um... 39. Yeah, that is max HP Mew. Good thing we have Raw. So we can just get him out of here. Yeah, get out of here, Mew. Get out of here. So now we basically have some free chip. And, um, yeah, if we can just get off a little bit more, that would be nice. Um, yeah, this thing just basically claims a kill now. Um, yeah. I think we just have to sack this. Yeah, yeah. I think just second this uh, is fine because um, Jirachi could still be useful that as um, cause of the prim. Yeah, we just like this. Terra blast, completely fine. Take this out, and now we basically can go into our Meowth Grada for free again. And um what do we click now? Um like he he should sack this in uh theory. And yeah. We just go you now do we click? What do we click? Who do we do we want to force? Um if we want to force in the Slazzle, then we go for Flower Trick. If we want to force in the Prim, we want to go for a um, um, Knock Off. Mm. I, th I think having the Prim in is probably the better play, because not also giving him 
the Mew afterwards would also be really, really great. Yeah, just let this die. Okay. Honestly, now I really, really want, uh, want to have our rocks, but yeah. Played a little bit uh, stupid around with our um, Toko that early game. But we can still win. We can still win. On defense. Yeah. That thing comes again. But I think. I think we are actually super behind on the second game now. Um, okay, 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 okay. Good thing he doesn't really have a great way of breaking our um, gouging anymore. So I think just going, I think just going Jirachi is completely fine. Let's see what he wants to do. Probably just might flip turn, just moonblast there. Okay, okay. Um, do we can we outspeed the Celeste plus one? Probably not. Probably not. Um, so maybe we should go for a plus two. Um, how's it called? Primarina. How much do we take from a Moonblast? Um, actually not that much. Now, um, to be honest, I think if we go gouging, we just might just Flare Blitz him. Why do we want to Flare Blitz him? Because um, afterwards, I think we might be able to sweep with knockoff. I think just getting off damage onto this and um, Flare Blitzing him should Probably allow us to win with knockoff, because knockoff should also uh, KO the Mew from uh, that point. Um, Mew from a Mew Scrutter. Yeah, knockoff should knock him out there. He would only live if he um, has the Culver Barry. So do we Flare Blitz immediately, or do we DD up? I think we still have to DD up though. I think we have to DD up. Yeah, I think we have to DD up. Otherwise, we don't do enough damage. Okay. He should just attack. There. Right? Yeah, just move plus. Yeah, that's, that, that does so much damage. Holy moly. Um, Flabits. Like, we could try and go for a Morning Song once. I think this was actually a max roll. Yeah, this should have been a max roll. Morning Sun up. Yeah, I think, yeah, this, this should have been a max roll. So I think if, when, if we can get off another one, we might just be out of range. We might just be out of range. Another one. We need another one. Um, honestly, okay, okay. He doesn't switch out into the the uh, the Celeza. Okay, okay, okay. Um, only problem. It doesn't have an item anymore. So, do we need plus two? Gouging. Do we need a plus two on the flare blitz? We probably need a plus two actually. Okay, we DD up again. And I think, I think that should put him in range of um, knockoff, probably. Moon blast again, yeah. Okay. I hope he does not have um, the thingy, the um, um, the aqua jet. Do we try and go for a morning sun? <laughs> but I, I don't think that actually, I, 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 yeah, I don't think that actually uh, saves us from anything there. 
Yeah, and we just have to play against the crit too. So I think just going for flame blitz is completely fine. And hopefully putting him in range of a knockoff, please. I don't think that's knockoff range, right? Yeah, that's not knockoff range. Okay, I think... I think we lose, unfortunately, now, because we're a choice scarf. Yeah. We should lose this now, because we're a choice scarf. God damn it. Now I wish we would have been um, something like um, Overgrown. <laughs> not choice scarf. Um, I mean... Is there any chance Triple Exit can knock this out? Meow versus Prim? Um... Triple Axel probably knocks this out. Um, does the Lazel die to um, basically Triple Axel? No, probably not. So let's go for a Triple Axel. Let's go. Maybe we crit the um, maybe we crit the um, the um, the Lazel. Cause I th I think. I would have loved to get the crit on the uh, Celestial there. Because I think if we can crit the Celestial, we might still be in it. We might still be in it if we crit the Celestial. Okay. Meow. Please. <laughs> crit him. We need a crit. We need a crit. Okay. Oh, he was a choice card. Okay. Never mind then. Never mind. <laughs> Big GG's to Jack. What a very, very close game there. <laughs> Hard there. <laughs> and um, yeah, I hope you guys all enjoyed this season. I um, hope Jack will make it to the finals, because I'm losing to the final, uh, to the finalist and or the potential winner. Always feels better. <laughs> and um, yeah, hopefully seeing you guys next season again. Um, and yeah, wishing you a wonderful day. Goodbye.